So guys, for the first step, you're gonna head over to search and type in registry editor. Click on it and then click on yes. And then once you're on this, you can follow everything I'll be doing up here. So first you want to expand HK local machine and then you want to expand system and then you want to expand current control set and then you want to expand control and then you want to expand class. I'm going to make this bigger. So now once you're on this, you want to look for this folder right here. That's called 4D36E96C-E325. So just look for the 4D36E96C. So just look for that. I'm going to leave it on the screen right now. You don't want to scroll down too far from once you expand class. It's just down here. And now we're going to be in here. You're going to have something that's called upper filters and lower filters. You might only have one. You might only have upper filters or you might only have lower filters. But anyways, you want to delete both of them. So you do not want to have any filters in here. So delete upper filters. Click on yes. And then delete lower filters as well. And now for the second step, you want to head over to search and type in device manager. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you want to expand sound video and game controllers. And then you want to find your high definition audio device. You want to right click on it and then click on uninstall and then click on uninstall again. Make sure that you have your speakers or your sound device plugged in. And then you just want to restart your computer. And then when you restart your computer, it should appear again and then the problem should be fixed. If it has not appeared again, then you want to head back into device manager again. And then you want to make sure that you have your computer name selected. And then you want to click on action and then click on scan file changes. And then it will appear again and then the problem should be fixed.